I'm the awesome tutor. Today we're going to be looking at the extracting, uh, the extraction of copper by phytomining, bio leaching, and acid leaching. Before we talk about those, you should know that th those methods extract copper from low-grade ores, ores which which contain a little amount of copper. Why are we doing this? Because copper is running out, or copper-rich ores are running out. Copper is in high demand. We use it everywhere. We use it so much in our wires, in our, in our phones. I'm using it to record this video. Um, and it's become economical, actually, to extract copper from low-grade ores. And this is actually a common question which, which, which they might ask you in your exam. And so you've got these reasons which you can put down. And now we're going to talk about um, bio-leaching first. Okay, so bio-leaching. The main thing is that we use bacteria, and these bacteria absorb the copper compounds. And these bacteria live by using the energy of the bond between sulfur and copper, and that's what uh, separates the metal from the ore, but you don't necessarily need to know that. You just need to know that the bacteria absorb the copper compounds, and that's what extracts it from the ore. And this produces solutions called leachates, which contain the copper compound. And then we extract the copper from these copper compounds, usually by electrolysis. The advantages and disadvantages. Okay, the advantage is this is a very energy efficient method, so it's energy efficient. However, it is extremely slow. It's a very slow method. Okay, now we're going to move on to acid leaching. Okay, so acid leaching. The main thing is that we use acid. And the acid reacts with the ore, which um, extracts the copper compound from it. So basically the acid reacts with the ore, and then that's how the extraction takes place. You just use acid. And the advantages of it, well, it's quite fast. Quick, and it proves very effective with uh, more difficult ores, uh, with ores where it's more difficult to extract copper from. A big disadvantage, which is very easy to think of, I mean, you're you're throwing acid onto natural rock, onto a natural landscape, just to extract the copper from it, and so it's got lots of environmental disadvantages because it's basically destroying the environment. And now on to phytomining. Okay, so phytomining. The main thing is that we use plants. The plants absorb the copper compounds from the soil. And they absorb the copper compounds from the soil through their roots. And after they have done this, we burn the plants and the ashes contain the copper compounds, which we then extract probably by electrolysis to make it pure. Now an advantage of this, uh, it's actually quite cheap, but there are more disadvantages than advantages. It's a long process, you have to grow the plants, also probably unreliable because you might not have a good harvest, you know, the plants might not be able to grow as much. And uh, it's a batch process as well. Uh, what else can you say? Oh yes, you're burning it, so you're releasing carbon dioxide. And then we all know that's bad because it leads to global warming. Also, you could talk about some ethical issues, how you're growing the plants to burn them for copper and not growing plants for food. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, bye. <laughs> Thank you.